For any parent, few things are as stressful as a trip to the emergency room. Now imagine being told your infant has a virus you've never heard of. Millions of parents deal with a mysterious sounding illness that is actually more common than you think. Rotavirus, it strikes nearly every child before the age of four and ultimately kills more than 1,000 children a day worldwide. In the United States, approximately 30 children die every year. In the U.S., rotavirus is the number one cause of severe diarrhea among children. But when this mother of three had to take two of her children to the emergency room the same weekend, she had never even heard of rotavirus. The daycare called me at work and asked me to come and pick Ryan up because he had thrown up twice and he was um, kind of listless. He's had flu and colds before, but this was pretty serious. Ryan, who was four years old at the time, was hospitalized for three days so that intravenous lines could counter the effects of dehydration. A day after he was admitted, his sister Amira began having the same problems. Because it's very contagious, doctors had predicted this. It's been found that children can spread rotavirus both before and after they have symptoms. Despite our best efforts, young children will not wipe or they'll do something and immediately put their fingers in their mouth. In any emergency room, it's the issue of fluid loss that is critical. Here in the emergency room, um, patients come in and they're evaluated by our triage nurse and their degree of hydration or dehydration is assessed. And um, the nurses are looking at not only their vital signs, but um, how many wet diapers they've made in the last 24 hours, how well they're drinking, if they're drinking, if they're lethargic, if their mouths are dry. And that'll give the triage nurse some idea of how sick they are. Kids who experience the most problems with rotavirus diarrhea are usually ages 3 to 35 months old. Illness from rotavirus usually starts with a fever, an upset stomach, and vomiting, followed by diarrhea. The diarrhea can be mild to severe and generally will last three to nine days. Doctors say the virus is seasonal, which means most cases of rotavirus occur between November and May. In the United States, it begins to occur in the southwest in fall, and then it sort of marches across the country, ending up in the northeast in late winter, early spring. The reason people haven't heard of rotavirus is, unlike, say, strep throat, where the doctor actually t tests for it, does a culture, and says, oh, your child has strep, routinely it isn't tested for. Dr. Margaret Reynolds, professor of pediatrics at the University of Maryland School of Medicine, has done a great deal of research on rotavirus. Because it's so common and hard to prevent, she says it's important parents and caregivers know how to treat the symptoms. Bring the fever down to make the child more comfortable. The most important thing is make sure the child does not get dehydrated. If indeed they can't get their child to drink, and they think that their child's becoming dehydrated, then they need to go to the emergency room. Signs of dehydration include a decrease in urination. If you are changing diapers less than six times a day, there may be cause for concern. Also look for sunken eyes. No tears when the child cries. Extreme thirst. Unusual drowsiness or fussiness. And a dry, sticky mouth. The best fluids to give children with diarrhea are oral rehydration solutions that can be found in nearly all drugstores and grocery stores. Because it's a viral illness, rotavirus does not respond to antibiotics. It will run its course. Frequent hand washing and disinfecting can help limit the spread. Having children wear clothes over diapers can also help. One of the reasons there are a number of viral illnesses that commonly cause diarrhea in children. If dehydration is treated, the children normally do fine. It's a different matter when diarrhea is a symptom of certain forms of bacterial food poisoning. Some foods are known to harbor disease-causing bacteria. Undercooked ground beef has been linked to deadly E. coli outbreaks so it's best not to serve children hamburgers pink in the center. E. coli infection 
has also been linked to contaminated lettuce, unpasteurized milk and cider, and untreated water. Pasteurization ensures safety, so be sure to purchase pasteurized milk and cider and wash all produce and meats. Foods involving eggs that are improperly handled or left out are a common cause of salmonella poisoning. Always refrigerate egg-based products like mayonnaise dressings. And it's best not to serve children runny or uncooked eggs. Often, milder forms of diarrhea are related to new or rich foods or a food allergy. In many of these cases, a change in diet may do the trick.